Good morning, friends. As we have seen in the previous videos, that we were able to load a CSV file into Spark RDD by just using the text file method. Now, in this video, we will we can we will learn that how to you uh, upload any file from S3 bucket. S3 is Amazon S3 bucket. So for this, I mean, let's go with the theory part first. So Amazon S3 is a highly durable, scalable, secure, fast, and inexpensive storage service with the EMR file system, which again AWS. EMR stands for Elastic MapReduce file system. So normally in the production code, when we actually go with the real uh, big data, that big data file can be in like terabyte size, uh, and it's all normally stored in Amazon S3 bucket. And from Amazon EM EM3, uh, sorry Amazon uh, EMR file EMR Elastic MapReduce, which is a cluster uh, manager in Amazon, it all is all always have Hadoop, Spark, and a lot of other stuff install already installed there. So the workflow is that Amazon S3 will always uh, use Amazon S3 where we are storing the that that big terabyte size file, and it will it will be working as an object store for Hadoop, the Hadoop or the Spark which is already installed in the uh, in the Amazon EMR. EMR is again a cluster manager. So Amazon EMR has also made numerous improvements to Hadoop, allowing us to seamlessly process large amounts of data stored in Amazon S3. Now, in this particular example, we will uh, not go through Amazon, EM, uh, Amazon EMR as of, as of now. We will just try to have a snippet code where we can actually mimic that we are actually running uh, this code in Amazon EMR and loading the data from Amazon S3 bucket. And we will be using this third generation proto uh, this protocol that's S3A colon slash slash. The second generation can be also used like S3N. So only difference is A and N here, S3A and S3N. But however, second generation may also be also be used, but it's not recommended. So the example of the snippet code that I was talking about that we can uh, just use our local system. I will, I'll write a unit test case and we can directly load it uh, from S3. In that case, this is the like snippet code. So first of all, we have to provide the IAM access key. I mean, if you're aware of AWS, uh, that there is a IAM uh, security account uh, where we can just pass the access key and the secret key and provide the endpoint here. And finally, once this endpoint is created, we are again going to call the Spark context, the Java Spark context text file method, and passing this protocol of S3A colon the file size, uh, the file which we are trying to load. Uh, into our RDD. So this will actually down, uh, upload uh, a big data file from Amazon S3 bucket back into our RDD, which is running in Amazon EMR cluster. So let's write the unit test case here for the for the same uh, for the same uh, course snippet that we just saw. So to save some time, I will just copy the previous uh, CSV file unit test case and then put it here. Okay. And I will uh, change the name here now. Test loading Amazon Amazon S3 file into Spark RDD. Test loading Amazon S3 file into Spark RDD. Now let me remove all this because this is for CSV file. Now let's write. Let's copy this code, uh, the snippet code which I have created here in the readme and put it here okay so as mentioned that uh, we have to create the use spark context called that hadoop configuration method and then set the access key this is the access key with the actual uh, we have to replace this with the aws account key and you can find this on aws iam account and similarly we have to also provide the secret key like this okay and then we have to again so so almost like all these like parameters are exactly same it's just like a key value pair which are which are different so we provide the access key first secret key first and then we provide the endpoint as st.amazonaws.com and now we can read a single test file like this that uh, we just call the spark context text file the same way as we have been using for loading a csv file or loading any other normal text file for the directories we used whole text uh, whole text file something like that so this was for directories whole text files so for loading any file even from S3, it's the same text file method, which is called. And then we have to provide the complete path in the S3 bucket, uh, how it is used. So it is just for an example here. So maybe uh, 
1000 words is a too small file in the actual world it can be a very very huge file for example it can say 1 trillion words dot txt so let me make some space terra.txt.js for example is a huge huge file in uh, terabytes okay uh just giving some random name which is makes uh, more realistic so we are loading this file like this but as because of security reasons of course i cannot provide the access key here in this demo uh, video so i'll just keep it as as like this uh, not providing the actual uh, actual access key or secret key but this is the idea that i that that you will be using when we are actually having uh, the s3 account and a big file stored in the s3 amazon s3 and because it's it's not going to work right so while i while i run this test case it will not work so i will uh, assert it with a throws exception because the access would not be there so it would be throwing an exception so i will just assert assert throws and then i will pass access denied exception dot class and uh i will just use like any any method here so i might count or enter assert throws okay because as mentioned that i will not be using this any like for any actual key so it will all it will throw me this uh, when i actually create rdd and when i call this rdd count method then it will be showing access generic exception so guys let's run this test unit unit test and see whether it works or not I click on the run button here. If we have the actual key, if you if you guys have actual IM key and actual S3 file here, you can uh, just change this, uh, provide this access key locally in your system, access key and the secret key of IM, and it should not be throwing this access and exception, but it should be actually creating the my RDD. Uh, 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 a java rdd a string object like this and you can we should be able to call uh, all those like transformation and action methods which are given there for rdd so okay so this test works fine as expected so this was all about how to load uh, amazon s3 uh, bucket uh, file from there a big file from there into our uh, local file or ideally it should be in the production code it should be aws emr the cluster manager where uh, we will be loading it into the driver program so guys this was all about chapter 5 create rdd using external data sets so we learned in chapter 4 and 5 that how to create rdd first was using the parallelize method in chapter 4 we went through a lot of unit test cases and in the fifth case we learned how to create rdd using external data sets we like using from external files which is the actual uh, normal case which when we are actually using spot in the production code In the next, in the next video, we'll start chapter six. We will deep dive into the RDD actions like reduce, fold, and aggregate methods. So see you all in the next video.